In this video, you'll learn what GitHub Copilot is and how it works inside of VS Code, as well as techniques on how to use it to improve your own programming. For those like me who have been living under a rock, GitHub Copilot is the Godzilla of autocomplete. It's the state-of-the-art AI technology from OpenAI that provides suggestions to you when you write code. These suggestions can range from words to lines of code to even entire functions over multiple lines. For example, you might want to perform a sentiment check on some text. Rather than using Stack Overflow, searching for a good API and writing out the function manually like a caveman, Copilot lets you simply add some comments in of what you're after, and the artificial paired programmer will do all the work for you, writing out this clear, clean function that looks way better than any code I've ever written. How does it work, you might ask? Well, Copilot has been trained on billions of lines of public code written by developers all over the world, like myself. This means that it might have some wacky outputs that are upside down, but in most cases, you'll get a wide context of autocompletes, which pretty much cover every type of function you might want to write. It's also not limited to a single language or framework. This means that it has a wider use case, allowing you to work from anything from Python to JavaScript, TypeScript, and yes, even Ruby or Go. Let's take a look at some of the things that make it so powerful. Firstly, its ability to take in context more than any other AI allows it to synthesize code in a way that we've never seen before. Unlike my short-term memory, which fades after one or two lines of code, Copilot can extrapolate from code that's already in a file and use correct variables and classes and structures that are well-defined. For example, if I wanted to write a function in Go to check the average runtime in seconds, Copilot will use the variables I've already written and fill out the rest of the function. This is just the basics of what Copilot does. And while this seems already very powerful, Copilot can do a lot more grunt work that we haven't even considered before. Things like having automatic autofill capabilities for manual labor tasks with patterns and repeating structures. If you're writing out a large JSON, for example, and you need to fill out different types of languages, Copilot can literally understand the context of what you're trying to do and finish the work for you. This means it grasps that you're trying to iterate over different languages in a JSON format and trying to provide the start and stop syntax for adding comments in. It can understand this and populate all that information for you. So far, we've looked at examples of writing code and extrapolating syntax, but let's see what sort of things Copilot can do in terms of helping you learn new code and new languages and perform tasks you might not have tried before. You can write out good ideas such as a book rating system or fetching tweets and see what that function would look like in different languages. This is very useful as you can infer a lot of learning that you otherwise wouldn't be able to because of the consistent structure that most humans wouldn't be able to do. Great, so you guys now have a good understanding of how Copilot works in terms of using AI to help you autocomplete a lot of the code, but you've seen nothing yet. Let's jump into some really cool stuff that it can do. For our first example, I'm gonna ask Copilot to do a few things through comments. I'm gonna import React and ask it to create a React component, which it seems very confident to be able to do quite well. The next thing I want to do is try to import a React component directly and see if creating the same component looks different, which it does. The actual syntax of the component kind of is defined based on how you're importing React, which is really cool. This is why it's important to be clear about what you want, because Copilot will use the context of what you've written before and currently to provide an output. Now, let's see if GitHub Copilot can use JavaScript to check if someone's using IE and tell them off if they are. When we ask to autocomplete this function, what we get is this one, is IE, which seems to check the navigator.use agent and perform this check. I'm gonna ask GitHub Copilot what is happening here, and it actually gives me an answer. It tells me that it's checking if the browser is using IE. All right, let's take this up a notch. I'm gonna write in a comment here that I wanna have a conversation with Copilot and let's see what the outputs can be. I'll pass in that I'm a human and I'll say, hello, who are you? And we get an autocomplete that says, I'm a Copilot assistance with the purpose to help me. Can it really help me to code? Well, apparently, yes, it can. But the real question is, is the Copilot intelligent? And apparently it is. Let's see if it knows what I need help with. Apparently, I need help with coding, designing, developing, deploying. The real question is, can it help me with my app idea? And apparently it can. And the biggest question of them all, can it subscribe to my YouTube channel? And can it like my videos? And the answer is clear. Yes, yes it can. 